good morning. Prostate cancer is the most frequent cancer in men older than 70 years of age. It is the most frequent non-skin cancer in men. It is the third cause of cancer mortality in men. Autopsy performed in men who die between 40 and 60 years of age show that 40% of them have prostate cancer. The incidence of prostate cancer increases with age, and by 80 years of age, 70% of men will have prostate cancer. Good morning. We are at the Hospital St. Louis in Lisbon. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, type 3 plus 4, after a biopsy. Luckily enough, a good friend of mine suggested me to come here to this hospital and talk with the Professor Pisco. In the course of last year, my visits to the WC progressively increased. And during the night, I had to visit the loo various times. My PSA began to rise up to six and a half. And I figured that something was wrong with my prostate. There are several treatments for prostate cancer. However, most of them are associated with major complications, including sexual dysfunction and urinary incontinence. These major complications led us to start working in this new treatment five years ago. Arterial chemoembolization has been used for the last 20 years to treat liver tumors, and we are now testing it to see if it's also safe and effective to treat prostate cancer. We have been testing this technique for prostate cancer for the last year, and it has been shown to be safe and effective, reducing the PSA levels and the tumor volume over time. Using a small catheter, a micro catheter, going inside of the prostate arteries that feed the prostate and the tumor of the prostate, we are able to inject the embolics and at the same time the chemotherapy so that we can perform the prostatic chemoembolization. The patients are following very closely and so the PSA will be evaluated every month up to six months and every three months up to three years. Simultaneously the magnetic resonance will be performed every six months and the patients are informed of the results. The procedure was completed in one and a half hour and the next day I was back to my normal life. I can say that uh, since then all my friends and uh, relatives uh, became aware of Professor Pisco's treatment and I am so thankful for this opportunity that I dedicated some time to spread the word to all people I know. This alternative procedure is the best solution for prostate problems. I'm happy with the results and I can only say thank you to all the people who have helped me to overcome my problem. We have treated over 60 patients. 70% of them, they improve and they don't need any other treatment. I strongly believe in this treatment is why I will be treated by my medical team after these words. Today, we have treated uh, Professor Pisco, the pioneer with this technique. He also suffered from prostate cancer, and we have treated him with this technique of prostate artery chemoembolization. He had a fast recovery with no pain, no vomiting, so it's a very well-tolerated technique with no side effects, no pain. Patients can perform it in a single day. Thank you.